I'm always one step behind Wishing I could read your mind But I'm ready Yeah, never ready uh, I wish I could have made it stop The first time that you stood me up I wasn't ready Yeah, never ready I hope you're all okay today. I thought I would vlog today just because I am going to get a second bunny. I have never had two bunnies at once. I've always had just Fluffy when I was back in Switzerland and now I have Binky and I've had him for a year and I've been doing a lot of research and I just feel like he would be happier probably um, with another little lady in his life. Um, just because, you know, like when I, I'm going to get a full-time job or not be here as much as I am now. Because now I'm just at home so I can play with him and everything. But I do think that they benefit from having the same species around and just uh, bonding them and everything. So I think I'm going to do a series showing you how I bonded them and all that. Which uh, is really tricky. I just thought in the past that you would get a rabbit and the just put them in the room and that's it but it's really <laughs> quite complicated so it's, it's not that simple but I will try and vlog it all and make like short videos and stuff so today I am going to get her she's from Blue Cross Rehoming Centre in Tiverton in Devon and she is called Thumburu at the moment but I am gonna call her Bonnie Bonnie and Binky because Bonnie is such a sweet name and also I really like the character Bonnie in the Vampire Diaries because I'm a super fan so I think that kind of um, is a nice name for both of them and I'll show you the, her room um, I'm not going to be introducing both of them straight away she's gonna I'm just gonna let her relax and get used to me and her new surroundings and have her new little home so I've got a separate room for her and a separate room for Binky at the moment This is Binky's cage and he's always out as you know but this is his uh, room and he's over there sleeping at the moment. I'll just show you the other room where I'm going to be keeping her in here and I'll leave her cage open but it's a lovely lovely space so she's got a lot of space that radiator is off obviously. And yeah, I'm really excited. I've got those little greens ready for when she gets here and all little toys, all these little chews, little carrot chews, tunnels and she's even got a view <laughs> and this little thing if she needs to hide and yeah, I've just got it all ready. This is like a chew kind of thing that I think it's loofah, so it's good for their teeth. So yeah, this is really exciting. I'm really happy. I'm always one step behind. Wishing I could read your mind, but I'm ready. Yeah, never ready. Uh, I wish I could have made it stop. The first time that you stood me up, I wasn't ready. Yeah, never ready. Like a forbidden fruit, I'm still craving for. She's eating. I just gave her a bit of food. That's always a good sign. She is so cute. So cute. I'm just talking really slow so I don't stress her out. Giving her some parsley. Little angel. Voice or really high voice, do not scare them. Well, her. 
and um, normally I would just put her in the cage and leave her but she is really really hand shy and I don't want to freak her out by trying to pick her up or anything so I've just popped half of her carrier cage in her cage and normally I would just leave her but I want to take it out of the cage so that she has space to just look around and stuff so I'm trying to tempt her with some parsley I'm just gonna wait here. I'm just sitting on the side where she is. And the pasta is on the other side, so hopefully when she ventures out, she seems quite um not too scared, like she's she cleaned a bit and she's looking around, so in a little moment where she'll finally venture out, I'll just remove that and then I'll close the door and leave her alone just for couple of hours. She is so cute. Look at that. Look at that fluff on her hair. I don't know if you can see it really there yet. So cute. <laughs> Go on Bunny, you can do it. Can you see the fluff? No. She is really really neat, um, nosy. Which is good. It's really cute. I wonder if she'll ever come out. I could leave her, but... Oh, she's cleaning. That's a good sign. She is turning her back to me, but <laughs> she's still cleaning. Good girl. Go on, you can get the parsley. Yeah, I mean, I could leave her, but I just, it's not a really good idea because if she's in that little box, she can't reach her toilet and I just want her to be able to look around and, oh, there she goes. I managed. I ended up tipping it up a little bit. Oh, cutie. Okay, I'll leave her alone for a bit. Update a bit later. She's eating. She's really at ease, I don't think she's really scared, so <laughs> she's so cute. Hey guys, so it's the next morning today and I know you can't see my face but I've just set up the camera. So the, I'm just going to open the doors, I fed her. She seems really happy and she's so cute. <laughs> she's got little bits of um, like straw and stuff in her fur. But and when she drinks, she's got like loads of little um, bits of water. Um, she seems like she's really interested in coming out, so uh, I'm gonna open the cage and just sit here quietly and let her decide if she wants to come out. And I put two different toilets, like on both sides, but um, she decided to use that corner, I, I believe, as her toilet area. Uh, it's good to let your rabbit decide where they're gonna do their business. So, and she's drinking, eating fine. So I'm just gonna open the cage, let her walk around if she wants. I'll just sit here and let her come and sniff me. And I won't try and stroke. I'll just let her decide um, what she wants to do. So yeah. Hey, little bunny. You can come out if you want.
Luckily she finally came out. If I move quite slowly I can get her some more little biscuits. Hey little girl. Bonnie, look, I've got biscuits here for you. Here you go. Little Bonnie, look. Just here. Good girl. She's very greedy, which is really good because she's very interested in food. Well done, sweetheart. It's very strange, she didn't really seem to know. Um, how to jump. I'll have to try and find like a bridge, but they seem really small and the cage is quite good girl. See? It's not that scary, is it? Well done. <laughs> good sweetheart. Well done. Very brave. <laughs> You're very brave, well done. See all your toys and everything. Here you go. <laughs> Just move back slightly, not to scare her. We have been giving her a lot of these <laughs> little treats today, but it's just an exception. Well done, sweetheart. Hey. And you can have a look around. 